Hello, hello. What's up, Libra? How are you guys? How are you guys? We are about to jump into a general reading for Libra. To my subscribers, welcome, babies. To those of you who are new to my channel, hello, hello. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, babe. I keep it real. It gets a little raw and reckless up in here sometimes. My intentions is never to hurt your feelings, baby. So take what's for you, what's not for you, you leave it behind. Okay? Spirit ancestors, angel guys, you are welcome into the room for our general Libra reading. We'll start with matters of the heart for our Libras. See what messages Spirit has for you today, Libra. A little guidance, a little illumination. For our Libras, Spirit Ancestors, Angel Guys, picking up on the energy of our Libra subscribers. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What messages of guidance? Little little enlightenment? Oh, Lord. I'm already tongue-tied, baby. Woo! Somebody may be tongue-tied. Somebody may not be communicating. Let's see. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, there is no right and wrong, baby. Whew. Oh, I was just supposed to do one. But let's see anyway. Uh, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah, normally when we go through things, it's so that we can learn something. Okay, so that we can learn something. And at the bottom of the deck, we have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it, baby. Ooh, Libra, you may be glowing right now, honey. You may be looking and feeling fabulous, baby. Yes, 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 yes. And we will be jumping into the traditional tarot for our Libras. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, picking up on the energy of our Libra subscribers. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What messages do we have for them today? A little inspiration, a little guidance, a little understanding that they can take with them on their soul's journey. Here we go for our Libras. Messages for our Libra subscribers. Let's see, let's see for Libra. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Messages for our Libras. Got the Ace of Pentacles, baby. Okay, there's an opportunity for a new beginning. Okay. The Divine is giving you an opportunity for a new beginning, baby. The path is now open. The path is now open, Libra. Somebody is at the red light. <laughs> Okay, someone has taken a pause. Okay, someone has slowed down the momentum. Actually, somebody stopped. Okay, they're not even moving. They, they don't even look like they're ready to go. Okay, somebody took a break. Somebody took a break to, to think about what they're going to do. Okay, took it, taking a break to see what you're going to do next. What are you going to do next, baby? Okay, someone, maybe someone is grieving. Okay, grieving the loss. Uh, grieving love lost. Um, somebody is stuck on what happened. What happened? Okay, but there's still opportunity for um, improvement. There's still two cups in the back. 
Okay, so all everything ain't lost. We have another ace. Okay, we got uh new things going on, baby. Okay, we have the ace of sword. The ace of sword is clarity, baby. Okay. Someone may be getting some clarity. Someone may be getting some honesty out of something, some situation. Okay, someone may be um Someone may be keeping it real with themselves because this this ace of swords got a, a crown. Okay. Or this can also be the divine. Okay. So your blessings may be coming in at a time where you may think or feel like things are not moving forward. But you may not think or feel like things are not moving forward because you're too focused on what happened in the past or what didn't or what didn't happen. Or it can be it can be grief, it can be loss, it can be sadness. Um I bought that stuff for my fingers, but I don't that stuff wears out too. We got another ace and the ace of wands. Whoa. And the moon. Yeah, you're not seeing this. You're not seeing these blessings, baby. And this is this is three aces. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've had three aces in, out of one deck in a reading yet. So we have a new beginning. We have uh, clarity, understanding. Okay. It can be some type of truth. It can be some type of victory, okay? You may come out victorious in a situation that you may think is uh, a lost cause. Um, we have a new possibility with the Ace of Wands. Okay, so somebody may be trying to give you something, a little something, something, make you happy. Somebody might be trying to put it on you. You may be trying to put it on somebody. It's in the center, baby. And then we have the moon. Okay. Um, so, oh, I thought it was going to fall. Um, someone, someone may be have, look. Someone is in doubt. Something, you may think that something is some type of an illusion, baby. You may think that something is too good to be true. You may be doubting yourself. Okay, you may be doubting yourself. Um... Yeah, it says you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And we got three blessings out here. We got an Ace of Pentacles, we got an Ace of Swords, and we got an Ace of Wands. And if you notice, those hands are coming out of them clouds, okay? We have the moon, the chariot, and strength in reverse, which are all major arcanas. Which it means there's something major happening in your life. Okay. Um, the chariot is Cancer. The moon is Pisces. The strength card is Leo. So someone may be feeling tired of a situation. Someone may not feel like they can overcome certain obstacles. Um, someone may not be believing in themselves. Or someone really feels like something can be too good to be true. Okay. 
We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so someone may be single, but someone has accomplished and achieved many things in their life. And so, as of right now, someone may be taking a pause, sitting down. Okay, sitting down. Someone may be waiting. Someone may feel like, my one of my favorite saying is that what's for me comes for me. It's going to come for me. Okay, I am blessed and highly favored and therefore... You do not chase and you do not uh you do not beg and you do not chase. Okay? You pray. You pray, you show up, you be consistent, you work on yourself, self-love, you keep achieving, you keep accomplishing, you keep building yourself up, baby. Okay? And so someone is waiting. Someone is sitting waiting. Chariot, he's sitting. They're not moving. Okay. And then we got the Ace of Wands under that, which is the opportunity for a new possibility. And then we have someone sitting. Someone who has accomplished many things. Someone who has every right to feel proud of themselves for their accomplishments. Okay. Someone has come a long way. Someone has come a long way, baby. Okay, so uh, here we go, here we go. And it's the Empress. Yes, honey. Yes, someone has come a long way. Someone has grown and matured and um, taken their life to a higher level. Okay, someone knows their self-worth. Someone um, is open to love. And all the beautiful things in life, baby. Okay? The Empress, she's also fertile. So for some of you that are fertile, uh, there may be a possibility to get pregnant. Okay? Although the only one missing out here is the Ace of Cups, which is like, um, can be like, um, like a bringing, in a bringing in a baby into the world. Someone may be pregnant. Okay, or someone may, um, she's, she, she's nurturing and creating, creative and loving and understanding and, uh, she can do whatever. Okay, she, 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 she can do whatever. So for some of you, if you're deciding to create something, okay, if it's not actually a baby and you're looking at it like, I can't handle baby. Okay, well, maybe it's not an actual baby, but you can create something that you love. You can um, be nurturing and loving and be open and accepting to it. Okay, because then we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is fast action coming in. Okay. Or um, communication. Okay, it can be communication. It can be moving. It can be uh, travel. Okay, someone may be deciding to travel soon. And then we have a Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords. Um, and then the world. So, for some of you, maybe it's time to make a decision, an honest decision, okay? Be honest with yourself about whatever it is that you want, okay? That bird coming in, okay, it's a message. So, someone may be waiting for a message. Someone may be waiting for some kind of truth, okay? Because as of right now, they're doubtful, okay? For some of you, you're doubting your own self. You may be doubting, you know, like the Empress, she's sitting here pretty by herself. Okay, um, and the Nine of Cups is a single card. Okay, so for some of you, you may be doubting that you even want a relationship. Because right now, we don't, we, well, we have the Nine of Cups and we got the Five of Cups, which is three of them are spilt. Okay, so for some of you, you may have been disappointed in love. 
And so you may be dedicating yourself to work, to environments, to family, to everything else except. Okay. Someone may be sitting in a whole bunch of self-love. Okay. Maybe you've been just self-loving up on yourself. Okay. And maybe that's what it is. Well, it's the ending of a chapter. Okay. The world is the ending of a chapter. Um... It may be reaping the re your rewards, right? Reaping the rewards because we have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we have uh, one, two, three, four major arcanas out here. Okay, so you may be completing, you may be graduating from some type of task, some type of uh, school or college or uh, trade or. You may be graduating, you may be getting a promotion, uh, you may be moving on into the next level, baby, okay? Um, completion, successful. Make sure you celebrate yourself, baby, because you're sitting in them nine cups pretty, pretty, like, like you good, baby. And then we have the page of swords. The page of swords can be somebody watching you. The page of swords can be someone who is aggressive, someone who is immature, someone who don't know how to speak, okay? Or even if they do, they choose to um, say things that make you want to slap the shit out of them. Okay, somebody may be holding back, somebody may be stingy, baby. Okay, you may be holding back. You may be holding back. You may be holding back. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Because I start running my mouth. And then the time be tick, 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 tick. Okay. So we are going into the witches. The witches. <clears throat> See what the witches got to say, Libra. Let's see, let's see. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Moving on into the witch's tarot. Messages for our Libras. What they need to know, what they need to hear. What messages do you have for them today? Messages for our Libras. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, the Page of Cups is bringing in some good news. Page of Cups is bringing in some good news. The Page of Cups could be a child, someone young, okay? It could be a, a niece, a nephew. It can be your, your child. Uh, uh, or it can be someone sending a message that's not, um, maybe a playful message, uh, a little sus. Okay, they have emotional intel uh, emotional intelligence, but um, they may act a little immature. The shadow side, baby. We got a message. The shadow side, baby. The shadow side is the devil. Um, in this card, someone's afraid. Someone's afraid of love. Someone may be afraid of codependency. Mm -hmm. Someone may be afraid of codependency. Um, someone may be afraid to commit. Okay, because we got the lovers out here. Uh, the lovers is relationship, alignment, union. Right? Two people choosing to be together. Two people working towards the same goals. Two people being loyal and honest. Okay. Um, seems like someone's scared. Someone is scared of something. Okay. And I haven't really seen uh, like past situations. 
So four of cups. Yeah, somebody is not, someone is either denying someone's offering of love, okay? Someone may not be answering someone's messages of love. Somebody probably blowing you up in your DM. Somebody probably texting you all crazy, okay? Trying to hook up with you, trying to meet up with you, trying to see you, and you may be ignoring them. Out of fear. Out of fear of the unknown. Uh, for some of you, you may be too focused on the past to see what's right in front of you. Okay, because I didn't see the past, but he got three other cups. See all the cups around him? And he looks unsatisfied. He, um... Uh, Still thinking about those other cups, maybe. Okay, or for some of you, you may just decide <clears throat> that that's not for you. We got the high priest in the center, baby. Okay. Okay, the high priest, it's like a higher power, baby. Okay, it's like the divine, it's like spirit. Okay, personally, that's how I be feeling, for real. Um, so, so for some of you, you may need to pray on this matter, okay? Maybe you need to um, ask your, your higher power. For a sign or what you need to know or what you need to do or maybe you just need to let go and let God, okay? Uh, we have the shadow side and right under the shadow side is the high priest, okay? So for some of you, you may be blessed, okay? You may be protected. That's it. You are protected. Yep. Thank you, spirit. Uh, for some of you, you are protected. You are being protected. By your higher power. Okay. You are being protected by spirit. Okay. Because someone. Um, someone can be sick. Uh, someone may. <laughs> She's so dramatic in this car. Oh Lord have mercy. Look at her. She's like. Oh my goodness. What's the matter, Libra? What's going on with your baby? We had all these aces out here, and, and you're stressing something out, baby. You're scared of love. You're stressing about love. Uh, you may not be seeing this offering for what it really is, or you may be offering someone. You may be offering someone a cup that is denying your cup. This person can be obsessive. This person can be controlling. This person can be uh, have some type of addictions. Uh, this person, you may feel like this person may be codependent of you. Mm. This person may just be childish too. Okay, because he's a child. Okay, so we may have some children in the situation. We got the page of cups, the four of cups, the four of cups. He looks childish. Okay, so you may be dealing with someone who's younger than you, or you may be dealing with someone who just acts immature. Okay, well, we have the nine of swords. The nine of swords, somebody is sick about situations. Okay, somebody stays up at night, somebody's stressing, somebody may go be going through some kind of... Uh, uh, Anxiety, somebody may not be able to sleep well, somebody may be tired. Uh, somebody is like, oh, Lord, mercy, when is this going to be over? And I think it's just the feeling, okay? It's like it's, 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 it, it makes me feel like it's a feeling. And then we have the six of wands, which is success, right? Something can be successful. Uh, something can be successful, 
Uh, you may be noticed for something that you have. I don't see no pentacles. Let's see, let's see, Libra. Let's see. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is successful. The High Priestess. Uh, the Six of Wands is successful. It's uh, on the bottom of the deck. We got the Three of Swords, though. So someone has been through some heartbreak. They may just have been healing from it. Okay, we have the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. So for some of you, you may be dealing, well, um, the Knight of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Swords are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, and so somebody may have went through something, but may have healed from it. Okay, so it may have been something that happened long ago. But it may be still something that still lingers in your mind and that scares you to commit to the next person or to move on, move forward in love. And um, and that may be why you hold them back and not accepting the offer. OK, it can be you. It can be them. We're reading energy. OK, these young people can be whoever you're thinking of. Okay, when I said it and you thought of someone, that's the person. Okay, uh, something happens suddenly. Whoa, karma, baby. Something happens suddenly. Something's going to crash and burn. Something's going to come crumbling down to the ground. Okay, somebody is going to get the karma, baby. Somebody about to get a wake-up call. Yep. Somebody about to get a wake-up call. So we have the Six of Wands, which is like acknowledgement, um, um, being noticed for, for who you are, for something you did, maybe in a work environment, um, maybe getting like a little raise, um, not, not a major raise, but a, like a raise. Um, and then we have the Knight of Swords. He's coming in. He's coming in aggressively, baby. He's coming in fast. He's coming in fast. The Knight of Swords. Um, this may be you, actually. Okay? So you may be moving toward success. Oh, that sounds good. You may be moving toward something that you feel as though will help you to be successful or to be noticed okay okay so you may have been working on 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 uh, a lot of different um parts of your life okay because remember we had all them aces out here new possibility new new beginning clarity um And um, somebody all up in their head about situations, okay? So maybe the, the, the one thing in your life that you are afraid of is scared of commitment, okay? Scared of commitment because of whatever happened in the past, the, lo the love that was lost. But you're not realizing that you still have opportunities, okay? Life goes on, baby. Life goes on. Okay, you accept, you change, okay? It says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, but you have to be open and willing to receive the blessings that God sent your way. Okay, you need to be open and honest with yourself and others about whatever you need to be honest about. Okay, you need to be accepting of, even if you don't understand why, things come to an end. 
okay? Accept it. Change what you can change and whatever you can't change, accept it, okay? Accept it and be able and willing to heal and move forward in your life, okay? Because your life doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Life, your life keeps going, okay? Breakups happen. Disappointments happen. And then, and then what, what, you're just going to lay down and die? No, you have to keep, keep moving forward in life. So we have a Queen of Cups. Oh, we have the High Priestess down here. The High Priestess is, use your intuition, baby. Use your intuition. Uh, when you use your intuition, you can make decisions based off of what you feel is right. And so that you can notice when something is wrong. Okay. Hopefully, you'll be able to catch yourself before making decisions that don't feel good for you. Because karma definitely came out. Okay. And, um, and, ooh, and the King of Cups. So, we have a divine match here, baby. We got the King and Queen of Cups. Which brings emotional bliss, baby. Okay. They are both emotionally in touch. They are both um, stable, okay? So you may meet someone that is your cup of tea, okay? You may meet someone that's exactly on your level, or you may already be with someone who's already on your level because this is what I'm looking at. Even though it makes me feel like you're going to meet someone. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Lovers. Somebody been waiting for their ships to come in, baby. And it looks like they about to do just that. We have the Knight of Swords again. Okay, so someone is coming head on. Okay, it can be you, it can be them. But someone is moving forward, head on. That's the second time he came out. And justice will be served. It can be justice being served or it can be karma being served. Okay? Somebody deciding to walk away. Okay? Someone may be deciding to... Um, someone may be leaving. Someone may be leaving. Okay. Because we was had a little successful over here. Somebody probably graduating and now they're leaving to go to do something better or to finish. You know, like they, they, they uh, completed a certain cycle. Did we have the world out here? Or did we have it in the rundown? Okay, someone's moving forward. Someone's moving forward. Somebody is really stuck in their head. Somebody just don't see it clearly. Okay, someone is really scared. Someone's scared that if they move forward, that they could end up back where they were. At a time when they felt bonded. At a time where they felt blinded. At a time where they may have been in situations where there was arguments, okay? Or there was a lot of people, dark energy in their surroundings. And then we got judgment. <laughs> we got justice and judgment right under it. Okay, so someone may be judging someone harshly, or someone may be judging is that some a situation for exactly what it is. Okay, so you may have every right to feel um, off standoffish. You may have every right to not jump into someone's offering of love. Okay, 
you may your intuition may be why you are afraid of the situation. Okay, your intuition can be telling you that it's not good for you. Okay, so for some of you, maybe that's what it is, and maybe it's time to release yourself. Okay, um, maybe it's time for an awakening or some type of acceptance. An awareness. Be aware, baby. Mm. The two of swords, she's, she don't know what to think. Okay. Um, maybe stuck in your head with it. Don't know what move to make next or what to say about it. Someone may not be speaking on a situation. Okay, like, like, for instance, you may be around people that bring somebody up and you may not say anything about it. Okay. Um, someone may have been self-sacrificing themselves. Uh, someone may, um, body harm. Someone may need to be aware or that someone may be body harming. By body harming, I mean like cutting themselves. Someone not, may not be able to take the, the, the criticism, okay? Someone may not be able to take some, like, people um, arguing with them or belittling them or talking down to them, and they may uh, turn to some sort of self-harm. I don't like when these... When they turn like that, I, uh, you know, because that's personal stuff. And I, I didn't want to say it, but it kept, so I have to say it. Um, and then we have a tower, okay? We have a tower where everything crashes and burn around someone. Around someone, though. Okay, this tower, he's not falling out of the tower. Okay, everything's crashing and burning around him, though. Okay, as of right now, he's safe. But, who knows? Someone may be afraid of a tower moment, okay? Tower moment, uh, a sudden change, some type of disruption in your life, uh, some type of upheaval. And then we have the hermit taking time, taking a moment to soul search. We have the hangman reevaluating situations. Reevaluating situations that got to do with emotional fulfillment, baby. Okay? And someone may be deciding to go ahead and go on that little date. Okay? Because them tables, they turning, baby. They turning. It's time for you to stop crying or finish crying or finish being a drama queen. Because remember, she was like, oh my goodness. This is the same one. <laughs> the Nine of Swords. Okay, only this time she's actually outside with it. Okay. Because it's time to be happy, baby. It's time to be happy. It's time to be happy. It's time to... Have stable foundations, okay? Long-term relationships. It's time for you to heal, okay? And get back to your perky self. Be passionate about life again. It's time for someone to be passionate about life again. Because as I told you when we first went down that first, um, the classic tarot, you are protected by your divine. 
okay? We have to go through life things because that's what teaches us. That's what helps us to grow. That's what helps us to um, shed the old, okay? That's what helps us to realign and understand what we should, what we shouldn't, you know? That's how we grow. That's how we learn, okay? But you are being protected by the divine, baby. Nobody's going to touch you in your bubble, baby. Nobody's going to touch you in your bubble, baby. Let's see, let's see. What they may be feeling, what they may be thinking, baby. Let's dive deep for our Libras. What they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. Okay, your person, your person. What they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. For Libra, here we go, here we go, Libra. <clears throat> Will this pain ever stop? Sex with you. This one becoming a lot. Got a lot of lust going on, baby. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could understand you. Yeah, it, it's it, you feel real standoffish, Libra. Real standoffish. Like you're not you're not sure about this situation. Okay. It's your intuition, baby, and it's your life. And sometimes when you're not sure about situations. It's better to just, you know, because this may be obsession. We we did have uh, the devil out here. This love is crazy. It may be lust. It may be obsession. I can't take it anymore. I am the man. Somebody may be controlling. I'm afraid to lose you. How could you ever forgive the mess I made? I long for your kiss. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody want to touch your body. <laughs> Someone want to put their lips on you, baby. Or well, they want you to put your lips on them. <laughs> ay, I keep feeling like I'm pulling my hair. I see was the white thing. I don't see that out here. There's like like white glare in front of my anyway. Soulmate love messages for Libra. What they may be thinking, what they may be feeling, baby. Messages from your soulmate. I wrote you a letter on paper, but I'm too afraid to show it to you. Here we go, here we go. I'm working hard on my finances for you, for us, for our future. Oh, that's a good one. Here we go. Here we go. You are like an angel that came into my life to heal and nurture me. Oh, that's a new one. You are like an angel that came into my life to heal and nurture me. Mira que lindo. I'm in love with you. Woo. That's pretty. I don't even remember reading that when I first got them and read them all. That is cute. I am so proud of everything you do. I can't help mentioning you to my close friends or family members. Wow, so this is how real love feel like. Your beauty is so captivating that I forget to blink. I daydream of our future together. The sound of your laughter is like a drug to me. So many things remind me of you. Ooh la la. Okay, Libra, go ahead and ask your questions to your angels. Ask your questions to your angels. I'll give you a moment while I woos
As soon as I finish this reading, I'm going to have to, I'm going to go try to figure out what's this. You see that white right there? I don't know what's that. And it's not my lamp, look. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. Answering questions for our Libra subscribers. Answering questions for our Libras. Here we go, here we go, babies. Look for a sign. No. Can we get one more for Libra? Not the right time, baby. Wait. Not the right time. Wait. So it seems like that is what y'all doing. Like y'all waiting. Like y'all not sure about a situation. Um, I think that's smart of you, okay? Because we did have the devil. We did have a tower moment. Uh, everything didn't look peaches and cream. Even though it did on your behalf. Okay? So it may be smart not to jump into a situation with someone that you're not sure of. Okay, babies? Because the, uh, the, the, the person may be... They want sex with you and they miss your kisses and this love is crazy, but then is will this pain ever end? And I wish I could understand you. Um, so, um, I don't know. I don't know, baby. You tell me. We. Nah. <laughs> this person may be less than you deserve, baby. It says we don't tolerate less than you deserve. Here we go, here we go. Messages from the Secret Garden. These are really cute. Uh, there are um, enchanting messages from Quiet Places by Jessica Le. Adapt. You will get yourself where you want to be. Yes, I believe in you, baby. You, had, you were sitting pretty in the Nine of Pentacles twice. Well, actually, uh, in the night of the Nine of cups right completions accomplishments things that you've done and i'm quite sure we've seen the nine of pentacles out here too joy make time for the little things today yes and be grateful for the little things baby release lighten your load time out baby persevere leave no stone unturned Okay, babies, and that was your tea, baby. Smooches.